my loves and welcome back all right so for today's tutorial i am creating a aerial makeup look which i am super excited about doing this so if you haven't checked out part one of me creating this gorgeous eye look then be sure to go check it out make sure to subscribe hit that notification bell and give this video a huge thumbs up and don't forget to leave a positive comment at the end of this video i would truly truly appreciate it so before we get started i'm gonna go off camera and braid my hair and put my wig on and then tie my wig up and then i'm going to outline jasmine's or not jasmine why do i keep saying jasmine i like i keep saying jasmine why why it's like part of me wants to do a jasmine look like um, but anyway, so I'm going to go off and do the stuff that I needed, I need to do, and then I'm going to come back on and then we're going to paint and I'm going to speed up the process and all of that fun stuff like I normally do when it comes to creating my chest pieces. So, all right. And I will be right back, my loves. All right, my loves. So I have the dress stitched out. So I am going to quickly, and I'm going to take pearls and I'm going to kind of like make a necklace around the neck with them. So I'll try to anyway, if I don't drop a whole bunch of them. All right. And then I used starfishes as my earrings because I don't have seashells. So I just used you know, starfishes, which I think are super cute. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to glue them around this side. So I'm going to speed this part up just because I don't want it to take too long. So. my loves <laughs> I kept making funny faces because I literally kept dropping the pearls like I'd go to pick them up and like they would fall off my <laughs> okay so I just dropped another one <laughs> all right so now oh this one's not gonna stay is it nope I need to put glue right there All right, try to get them all even. All right, so first we're gonna start out with the lighter blue. So I mixed together white and blue paint just because I don't want it to be too dark right here on this top. So I'm just gonna, let me use a smaller brush because that brush is way too big. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this blue that I did, that I put together, and I'm just going to do a thin line like I have sketched out 
and I'm just going to start from right here at the seashell and I'm just going to carefully paint from there. I think my cat's trying to get in again. It's like I hear somebody at the door, but I know my line's a little crooked because it was kind of hard to stencil out looking in the opposite way. I don't know how some of these girls do this stenciling and like this painting all the time, but some of them are like really, really good. So, be like, maybe practice makes perfect. Hopefully one day I'm that dude. So, I'm just gonna kinda even up this line as I go. just because the top of her dress is a little bit lighter than the other side. So that's why I kind of wanted to mix the paint with white just to lighten it up a little bit. So, and I'm not too worried about it being too perfect in the back because my wig will pretty much cover that up. So, but I am more worried about it being kind of even in the front area. So we're gonna do the same to this side. This look is nowhere near as hard as the bell one because I added so much detail to the bell dress that it took a lot longer than I really wanted it to. So. outside I'm trying to make it to where I can't really tell <laughs> I'm trying to get this thing down there I'll have to clean that up You tip real quick and I'm gonna clean that up. Alright, so then next I'm gonna work on the seashell that I drew. I don't know if you guys can see it. You guys probably can't even see what I'm working on. But I'm gonna um, color this. So I made up this concoction of light purple paint because I'm gonna out re outline it with the lighter or the darker purple so I'm going to paint this right here lighter purple and then I'm going to re-outline it with the dark purple Alright, 
my cat decided that she was going to open the door and you could hear my kids watching TV out there so it was kind of loud. My seashell's kind of, I don't know, does it look kind of crooked or is it just me? I think it's just me. All right, so now I'm going to outline both the light blue and the purple with the darker color. So I'm not too worried about the, um, the lighter paint being on here just because... So this part is so where I just have to be really careful with, just because I don't want to mess the lines up.
my 15 year old is like literally telling my four year old that she's not getting any cake and it's funny because now she's walking around the house saying that she wants cake so that's what I was laughing about because it was funny <laughs> all right let me take a little bit more of this light blue and I'm gonna just blend it in you guys probably can't even see what I'm doing can you I'm so sorry okay my phone is like up higher than my chair sits but okay so right now I'm just blending in these two blues well not really blending them in because I want it to be lighter and I want it to be darker so like I'm just going back over this light blue that I put down and kind of making this top a little bit thicker Because this side is thicker than this side, so I'm trying to like even it out. So, all right, so I think we're kind of good on that part. So, I'm gonna take a bigger brush, I'm just gonna take the one that I mixed the light blue in, and I'm just going to dab this darker blue. It's not like even a blue, it's like a turquoise color. So, I'm just going to. I should have lightened up that color a little bit more I think because like they blend kind of almost together oh well that was kind of a little bit pointless I totally ran out of white paint so like I only could use like what I had left so I definitely need to get more paint also, if anybody knows like what a good paint would be to do this kind of stuff, let me know because right now I'm using the You Can Be palette and it's not that good because it doesn't dry and then it smears so easy. So, and I don't like it. I mean, it's easy to clean off. I mean, and then I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. I mean, I mean, oh my goodness. Okay. I can't even talk today. And it's funny because my uh, kid's friend is like staying the night, so I gotta kind of like throw something on like to cover myself because I don't want to like be inappropriate you know so like yeah I mean, you can kind of tell the difference between the light blue and the dark blue, I think. Um, just hopefully it shows up on camera this way. And it doesn't show just like, you know, like, I don't even know how to, to discuss it. Like it doesn't show up blended in. So... Kind of like almost frosting a cake. <laughs> this paint is, it's kind of like, it's really thick. I think that's maybe why it doesn't dry so good. Because it is, it's like frosting a cake. So it's like, so thick. Alright, so I think we're pretty well good. I mean, only this up is going to be in my photos so I'm not too worried about making it 
really too perfect. So we're not an expert here, so I'm not doing a full body paint. <laughs> and besides that, like I take my own pictures, so I don't want it to be. Oh, I'm good. I don't have that kind of experience yet. I am not that perfect. Besides that, the paint's already getting all over my arm. So, like, yeah. All right. So, I think I'm pretty much done with this look. So, yeah. spot there that was showing I mean besides cleaning up the blue paint around the necklace so that way you don't really see that I've outlined it in blue <gasps> dude I messed up one of the pearls <laughs> okay that's it I mean I don't think you can really see it anyway so yeah this completes my tutorial on creating this aerial makeup look so I hope you guys enjoyed it if so don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up don't forget to leave a positive comment and let me know what you guys think and if you guys think of anything else let me know what you guys wanted to create I'm having so much fun creating these princess ones so let me know down in the bottom in the comments that if you see this to let me know what princess I should do next all right bye my loves